Hi, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to look at the distal tib fib. We're going to cover an anterior glide in this position. So we have Antonio's on his stomach. We come up just up a little bit towards your head. Just make sure the tibia is still on the table. What I want to do is take his lower leg, internally rotate a little bit so I line up the joint in a better position. What I'm going to do is take my hand and I'm going to put it on the distal part of the fibula, the non eminence, which is between the two. Turned in a little bit come through here. The other hand kind of supports the tibia. This is the fibula. We're going to work on hip range of motion next, Antonio. <laughs> and as we take up, we're going to go through here. We're going to push down to the table this direction, take up the slack, and then we could spring it, see if there's a good enough spring for it, and come back up. The key to this one, again, is internal rotation. If we're going to mobilize it, this hand is, again, holding the distal part of the tibia. Thank you. There's the fibula. We come onto it. We take up the slack and we're going to hold it. Okay, we could do like, we could do 10 second holds, come back up, or we can go just to the end range and just do oscillations at end range. Good. So it's a, the key to this is getting plantar flexion in the ankle. So we have limited plantar flexion. We'll start to look at the distal tib fib for an anterior glide. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.